Welcome back to Keith's FIFA 18 story. My name is Ricky, and uh, once again we find ourselves on the uh, player career menu screen because something interesting happened at the end of last week's game, or the last game, rather. Um, I got an email from the manager, so let's just take a quick look at that. See, Keith got a transfer offer from FC Bordeaux. I'm not even going to try and pronounce any of the ele elements of that name, so I'm sorry, fans of that football club. Uh, thanks for watching from France, I guess. But also, Keith got this transfer offer. I mean, they're offering him a fair wage. Right now, I don't really know, and Keith doesn't really know what he wants to do. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. But I thought I'd just let you know that this happened. We are in the middle of the transfer window, so it's not uncommon. Uh, but I thought it was really interesting that I just basically said that I'd proven that we were good for the team. That Keith was good for the team and probably wouldn't get traded. I mean, it's a transfer offer. I can reject it and stay, or Keith can reject it and stay. So, uh, we're playing Mansfield Town here, um, uh, away. We're playing at Mansfield Town. We're still currently top of the league, obviously. Um, so, here's the thing. I, I don't know what, Keith doesn't know what he's going to do. Like, I, I already said that, I think. But, it feels... Like Keith should stay put. Like the whole point of me crafting this entire thing was crafting it around an F uh, a football league two team and taking them up all the way into the Premier League, at least in the game, uh, and bringing them glory essentially. And that was sort of part of you know what I was wanting to craft this story around. FC Bordeaux is in the top league in. France, I don't know, don't remember what it's called, it's like, League, it's their League One, I think it's just League One, but whatever that is in French, um, and I don't, I don't know, you know, how, well, the, I don't know how the story will react, Keith, stay with him, stay with him. <sighs> he has no idea what he wants to do, at all, how did I get the ball and just drop so quickly? Well, you didn't get the ball in the right spot was apparently what the game decided. I mean, it was like 8.6 and it was like literally as I as I uh, received the pass, it was it dropped me down to 5.9 or 5.8 or whatever it was. And I was like, what? That's that's why this game is ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Let's show that miss again, because that's what we want to see. It was an awful miss. Ah, that wasn't, though. That wasn't a miss. That was the glory of Lincoln City. And, and so, like, he's, he's, Keith is trying to make a home here in Lincoln. He's trying to make a life for himself with this club, potentially. And so, I mean, it is sports. You, you can't always stay where you want to stay. You know, I mean, you can, theoretically. I mean, sometimes you can't help. When you get traded, you get traded. Um, you know, in, like, baseball, in Major League Baseball, like, you can be sent down to the minor leagues. You know, you you can be traded pretty easily in any sport. Um, none of the other professional sports have quite the um, developmental leagues that Major League Baseball has. But. Ah! That would have been brilliant had he scored. Oh, okay, I got the ball back. And pass it back to him. Now put him back in the net. No, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fi It's okay that it didn't go in the back of the net. It's okay. But I would really like an assist, or Keith would really like an assist. He's, um... It's not that I'm down on my assists. It's that Keith wants to be the top uh, goal scorer and uh, goal... Um, the goal scorer and the top uh, assister in the league. Uh, the one thing he doesn't want to top, he doesn't want some sort of weird sort of trifecta of that plus red cards, since that's the other statistic they count. Well, I think they count yellow cards too, uh, that he can get. Like, he can't get a clean sheet because, you know, he's a forward. So, that... So, so pretty much, uh, so he called his parents, and his parents told him it, was, it had to be his decision. They couldn't make it for him, which he was really upset about, because he really wants someone else to just tell him what to do. 
Isn't life easier when other people just tell you what you should do? And that's what he wants. It's not going to happen. I'm just saying that's what he wants. Jerk. I'm going to slide tackle you anyway. Oh, we got the ball back. I couldn't slide tackle. You can't slide tackle when you're on offense, which I don't particularly like. Like, just, like, just, you know, out in the middle of nowhere, just for the heck of it, for no reason at all. Like, see, look, I want to be able to just slide down like that in a slide tackle of victory, even. Um, so he talked to his, he talked to his parents. He talked to his old coach, um, the, the one I talked about. That, that, that taught him a lot, you know, when he wasn't actually even playing, when he was playing around, goofing around on the, uh, you know, on some public field. Um, this is great, showing all the... Can we get to the part where I did score? There we go, here it is. Oh yeah, that's glory, the glory of Lincoln City. So... Uh, he talked to everybody, and no one gave him any advice he ever felt like was useful. Because they kept saying, well, you just got to follow your heart. You know, if, if Lincoln City is where you think you should be, you should stay. If, if you're not happy here, you should leave. And to some extent, you know, Keith isn't happy in Lincoln City. But it's not the fans. It's not the other players. It's the manager. He just doesn't like the manager. And sometimes you just don't like your coach, but you want to stay anyway. That just happens. <laughs> because let's be honest, I mean, <laughs> you know, coaches don't, I mean, managers, you know, they don't stick around forever. They're not, you know, um, even when they have contracts, sometimes coaches and, and managers and all that get, they get fired. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Pass across the net. Oh, get this. Yes. Goal. Now, I don't think that counted as an assist. So, uh, my game is fair play. I just saw that. Yeah, you see it in the background there. Oh, that was a weird thing, but okay. Not getting subbed off. That's good news. Hang on one second. Let's see. Yeah, it did. It did count as an assist. Cool. Excellent. I figured it might just be a key pass. Um, but it counted as an assist. Which is great, because again, Keith wants to get all the assists he can get. Um... The only person who's told him to, like, who's given him any sort of specific, like, you should do this instead of, like, not doing that, uh, is his best friend here on the team, Riggs, who is so unhappy on the team. He was like, you should leave. Did you get a chance to leave? You should leave. Leave. Stop being here. It's an awful place to play. Go somewhere else where they'll appreciate you more. Um, to which Keith replied, dude, they appreciate me just fine. I've played almost every single match. Like, the only match I haven't played was the match I was actually banned from playing. Even though it was a horrendous call. Uh, it was just an awful call. I, I didn't... I played that one. Except I didn't... There, there's no episode where Keith got his red card. He got the red card in a game that I played um, over Christmas. So... Uh, he's just... He just... He doesn't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I mean, if I'm being honest, he's leaning towards uh, staying, obviously, because he really loves the fans. But you know what? The fans at FC Bordeaux are going to be just as good to him, potentially. I mean, they might not be. I mean, because you never know. Fans can hate you. You can come in. If you replace their favorite player, they're going to hate you. It doesn't matter how good you are. It doesn't matter if you take them to the Champions League and you take them to, or whatever they call it here. Um, but I don't remember what they call it in FIFA. You know, or the, um, I think it's, it's the Europa League in real life. I think it's the uh, Euro League or something. I don't really know. I don't remember what they call it in FIFA because they don't have the licenses for it. Um, to call it what they really want to call it. But it's basically the same thing. You know, top, top of the league in uh, League One in France. That Even if you did all of that, they could still hate you because you replaced their favorite player. And, you know, that didn't happen in, in Lincoln City uh, because uh, I'm not really sure he replaced anybody on the pitch. Since they were actively, well, 
within this video series, they were actively looking for a um, a new forward, a new striker to come along, and they got Keith, and now they're, you know, I mean, I don't know how much money they're getting, and that money, because, I mean, you're talking about a first, a, a top flight team from France offering, they got to be offering a decent amount of money for, for Keith, you know? And so that that also weighs into it because, you know, Lincoln City's not a big team. They don't have a lot of money. It's not like, the, I mean, they're not like broke or anything, but they did just start in the, uh, like they did just secure promotion into the football league. So, um, in real life. So it's not, ah, so it's not like they're in like the best financial straight strength ever. So I don't know. Um, next time I'll have a decision. I'll have made a decision. Uh, Keith will have made a decision. I guess I mean. Uh, and, and I'm gonna tell you, uh, it's probably leaning towards staying because I kind of like the idea of how was something was. I surely that was a foul or something from somebody. Um. Uh, 87th, 88th minute goal. Come on, no. 90th minute goal, actually, is what it would have been. Uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm leaning towards staying here because the idea of tanking Lincoln City all the way to the Premier League really appeals to me, uh, and it appeals to Keith. We'll see. Um, by we'll see, I mean you'll see. Uh, hopefully by next time. But let's be honest, 9.6 means man of the match, like it just said at the top of the screen. Um, I'm getting a bunch of stuff for getting five out of five man in the matches. That's great. So, uh, but 9.9.6, I got a goal and an assist, which means I was a key player in two of the, and both of the goals we scored today. Uh, excellent. I was out of position three times. One of those times was where I was, where the ball was and it just dropped me down suddenly. Yeah. So, uh, this has been Keith's FIFA 18 story. Thank you for watching. Come back soon for more FIFA 18.